do a quick walkthrough. This is a property that was tenants were kicked out. I did an inspection on it two months ago. The home was in good shape. I came up, the tenants had been arrested, so I came up to do an inspection. Saw the boot print on the front door and knew it had been kicked in. And as I looked around, I noticed that the walls had been painted. I thought that was odd because they were in perfect shape back in March. And as I looked closer, I started discovering things like this. You can see the tenants have knocked holes in the walls and then attempted to fix them. Uh, this wall is actually not so bad, but then you get into walls like this. So they did a terrible job painting. Huge holes in the wall. We got more over here, even up high, probably throwing bottles into the walls. Over here, dents, holes. As I went through the property, I discovered that every single door was either ripped off the hinges, uh, had holes in them. You can see they splashed paint as they were trying to paint it. Knocked holes in the walls. Terrible job trying to paint. They shattered the vanity. Everything is just a mess, a bloody mess. Went into the kitchen, which reeks right now because the refrigerator's been without electricity for a week or so. It's a little stinky. It's not a lot of damage to the kitchen. There is uh, things like this. We've got baggies with some residue in them. Lots of needles, obviously uh, drugs going on. I spoke with the local police officer and he said that they Popped up on the radar for drug dealing a couple months ago. So again, tenants lived here for two years. I inspected March 23rd, 2019. Property was in excellent condition. And now it's June 19th. And this is what it looks like after we emptied everything out. Most of the doors have already been removed from the property, but they all look like this. Holes going all the way through. This room here actually isn't too bad. Somebody was doing some artwork on the walls. And the flooring here is not too bad. But the flooring throughout this property was brand new when she moved in two years ago. So all this damage has been caused. Again, just in the last couple of months. It looked like they knew they were guilty and they tried to start repairs, but that didn't work because they were arrested and now evicted. You can see some of the doors that we hauled off. And going upstairs, again, just more of the same. Lots of damaged walls, stuff splashed everywhere. And they were cutting into the walls with knives. Even got holes in the hull or the headway. Really bad patch jobs. A lot of these areas look like they were knocking holes in the walls, patching them, and then knocking holes in the exact same spot again. for breach of peace both of them one of the neighbors reported fighting and I suspect uh, all the screaming and stuff the cops showed up and probably kicked the door in Again, lots of really bad patch jobs here they did the kind act of painting all the way onto the ceiling look at that is next to a bedroom and bathroom, so probably the tenant was locking herself in, trying to hide, or somebody was locking themselves in, trying to hide from the other party. Hollow core doors do not work as a safe space. This really doesn't make sense. They 
Not sure what they were trying to patch up there. See two tones of paint. Again, this paint was brand new before they moved in. Good news is they didn't break any windows. This is really interesting. This carpet was spotless. Now it's coated in makeup and colored pens and pencils. Again, just in the last two weeks. Uh, this particular individual wore some extremely heavy makeup. Apparently was getting it all over the floor the last two months. I can imagine when somebody's on drugs, they really go overboard with the makeup. And this is the room where a 12 year old boy was staying. It looks like he was stabbing the wall with the knives that we found on his bed. Pretty sad.